one of the things that I'm thinking about is that you know, when you look at the microbiome, you might tell that you have eaten healthy food, but you can see in your microbiome what you've actually eaten, right? So maybe, you know, do you think something like that would be a helpful thing from a, you know, helping parents yeah. understand? From past uh, one year, I can say, dysbiosis uh, uh, is my favorite topic and many videos of mine is addressed based on dysbiosis itself. So, eubiome, retaining the eubiome is very, very important. A healthy gut itself plays crucial role for uh, treating majority of the disorders. If gut is unhealthy, you will land in many diseases. So, gut rules, out, rules your body actually. Your brain functioning, your nervous system functioning, every immunity system, immune system functioning. So, everything is dependent on healthy gut. And your gut health is depend on depends on what you eat. So you need to you need to take care of your uh, gut uh, health and uh, the, the you have to preserve the eubiome. Eubiosis, if it is disturbed, causing dysbiosis, always leads to diseases, including obesity, diabetes, hypertension. Now, see, uh, vitamin D uh, past seven eight years back, it has become um, a novel drug for this uh, decade, right? Every specialty prescription includes vitamin D. You, you go to endocrinologist, cardiologist, neurologist, everyone's prescription ends with vitamin D compulsory. Similarly, now this dysbiosis uh, 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 as a part of the diagnosis or as an attributing factor comes to every specialty. Mm -hmm. Neurologist also has to attribute to a dysbiosis. Your uh, endocrinologist also will attribute to dysbiosis. So every field, every field of our medical practice should address dysbiosis compulsory.